Hey everybody, Kid the Solace here, and welcome back to, um, uh, what's it called? Fallout New Vegas. Where is my pupper? Where is my puppy? Puppy, puppy! There we go. There's my pupper. <clears throat> so, we did start over. Last episode that we did was, um, I want to be a higher level before I get pulled into that sort of issue. So yeah, I did reload a prior save. <laughs> I've done every month, every, every much, everything pretty much the same. Christ, what is with my fucking companions and spazzing out? Let's head over to Camp McCarran, shall we? <clears throat> Fuck the NCR! No. Evening. Hopefully I can lie to this fucker and tell him that the research data is gone. Because I really don't want to give him that research. Here she is. Keely just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Thanks again. Really, I owe you. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. I don't see how that's relevant. The dangers of the vault were your business, not mine. The only question is whether the data is still intact. 
I think William's decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, an agreeable sum payable upon delivery of the data. You've more than done your part. Your concerns are perfectly understandable, but I assure you, they're entirely misplaced. We would never use technology that wasn't fully tested. <clears throat> we aren't some motley band of vault alchemists. We're with the government, for goodness sake. Have a little faith in us. <laughs> yeah, right. Have faith in your government is like asking me to have faith in a god that snorts cocaine and let snorts cocaine and spews candy sugar. I don't know. God that snorts cocaine though, that would be pretty fucking funny. <laughs> Okay. Let's travel to the Hidden Valley Bunker, shall we? Did I just glitch the game?
Got something good for me? Is it a dress? Making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? So we're going to go with comprehension, guys. We're going with that for a reason. This is a dangerous place, human, especially for your kind. I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. You must have heard her radio broadcasts. Though why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me, unless you didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. Help would improve the odds. Help might just make the difference. All right, if you're good enough at what you do to meet me in the village up near the peak, we can talk further. I'll have a plan by the time I see you, if I see you. Good luck. It's going to be a lot harder for you to get up there than it will be for me. Damn. Let's go. There. The 188 trading post. Got something good for me? Is it a dress? Ooh. 
don't blow yourself up, okay, girl? Feeling thirsty? You bet. Yum, 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 human hand. Don't ask where I got that from. Because I won't tell you. Come on, everybody, we need to find a way up there. Maybe this way. Seems like this is the way. Let's say where did she get off to? Okay, cool. So he is leveling up. <clears throat> little by little, but he is leveling up.
That was the summit of uh, summit of Black Mountain. Just found the back way into it, apparently. The Kaisar has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Hello, Rex. So nice of you to show up. Weird ass puppy. Fuck's sake, okay, so... I forgot how really annoying this, uh... Question me.
Death and balls to the walls, I guess. Let's do this, folks. Do my level in. Have you found it? Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Another satisfied cut. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Give me a shot if you... Bye. After this, I have some weapons. Ole Balsak. Veronica, I hope... I brought you a present. This disc has secrets to breeding plants that can thrive in the wasteland. High Elder Maxon didn't found us to be botanists, Veronica. Think about it. No more trading guns for food. Total self-sufficiency. It's what we always wanted. This won't get us Hoover Dam. Yes, it will. If we feed people, they'll support us. They'll join us. What does the Codex say? A bunch of close-minded bullshit. We do not help them or let them in. But... We keep knowledge they must never have. Give it a chance. For me. I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I'm sorry. We'll die out. I know. Come on. I can't listen to this anymore. He wouldn't listen. The truth was right there staring him in the face. How could he not listen? I see that now. I thought I knew him better than that, but it was like talking to a stranger. How can I help them when they won't accept it? <clears throat> it wouldn't matter. The Elder has final say. The hell of it is he's one of our most progressive members. If I can't get him to agree, it's hopeless. I... I don't know if I can stay. Maybe it'd be better for everyone if I left. Spent my life... somewhere else. Work with the followers of the Apocalypse, maybe. Put my knowledge to some good use. Or I can stay here with the people I care about and do... whatever I can. Until it comes to a slow or sudden end. There's no getting around that, is there? What would my life be like here, knowing what's to come? They're not gonna like this. We're given a chance when we're young to choose whether to stay. If we do, it's supposed to be for life. But they haven't left me any choice. It's this or a lifetime of scavenging and watching my friends die and losing battles. I guess it's settled then. Let's get going. I'd like to get my mind off all this. And some fresh air would do me some good, right about now.
Cuidado, ve, Bebo. I should probably heal myself. Nuka Cola. Stick. We heard Veronica talking with the Elder. We won't stand for this. Mm. Hmm. She'd be doing a greater service by carrying out her duties and not trying to undermine the Elder's authority. This had better be the last time her loyalty falters. You've been warned. Well... If there was any question of whether I should leave, I guess there's my answer. Sure. I want to establish a connection with the followers first, but as far as I know, drifting is part of the job description. Yeah, I think if I stayed, I'd end up causing trouble. Sometimes <clears throat> I just can't help myself. This way is better for me and for them. I think that'd be best. There's a follower's outpost up near one of my old scavenging grounds. Used to do some trading with a doctor there. If I work out of there, I'll still be able to keep tabs on Hidden Valley if I needed to. I know that route like the back of my hand. If it's alright, I'd like to head that way. Meet some people, see if I can be of any use. Let's... Gotta love the speech skill, though. This is gonna suck. Good people are going to die. All because of the choice I make here. Oh well.
But yeah, they're not spawning in. That's uh, horse nettle. Followers outpost. Hello. What can the followers of the apocalypse do for you today? This is just a site for local followers to pick up assignments and check in. So most of the time we're just taking care of logistics and coordinating with other checkpoints over the radio. Possibly, but I'd be the wrong person to ask. You'll need to speak to Dr. Schiller, who's on an errand at one of our other stations. He should be back tomorrow. The Brotherhood? Well, this is unusual, I must say, but very welcome. There's certainly a lot we could learn from your technological expertise. Dr. Schiller usually handles placement, and he won't be back until tomorrow. If you could come back then, we can see about your assignment. Take care of yourself. What's up? Okay, everybody. This is where we're going to end this episode. So, gameplay good. We will be back next Friday. So for now, this is Kit the Solus signing off. Until next, uh, next Friday, guys. Bye-bye.